Saturday, November 2nd. Pretty cold morning this morning. Uh, it's about 23 degrees. I'm by myself this morning. Um, I'm going to try to do some self-filming. Running trail cameras all summer. There's been some pretty decent buck in here, so... All I'm basically doing is on the logging road to have some scrapes on me. I just had a lot of rain two days ago, so hopefully these bucks are starting to work scrapes. I'll open them back up and stuff. But hopefully right there is my shot. I do got a little bit of an opening back here too, so. Some more on this logging road. I'll have about a eight or nine yard shot right there.
if you don't love this bow on, and especially with the recurve, any bow on. <laughs> he come in, I thought he was gonna make me out while that doe was standing right underneath me. I left a tree step on the ground, a ladder stick, and she was underneath, and I could hear her smelling it, smelling it, smelling it. He looked right up at me, and I thought, just out back on film. I thought it's over while he started walking up, trying to circle around and get downwind while he was too close already. <sighs> it's the next morning here. Uh, hit that buck last night. Just completely backed out. I didn't even didn't even look for my bl blood where I hit him at. I just got out of there. I felt like it was, to me this deer's dead, and it's just a matter of finding him. Hopefully he's not far from where I last seen him, but dead buck on the road right there. I do apologize I didn't get the shot on film. I guess it's one of those things I was so focused on the shot, I just didn't hit the camera. He had me made, he, I mean he see on camera he come in there he was at four yards probably the doe was right underneath me um he had me made he looked up in the tree see me backed out of there and he went to the only place that I could get a shot because of my camera arm <clears throat> if he would have went to the right I'd never would have got a shot out of film him walking away but he uh he did go to the left, I got a shot at him, he was walking, I hit him, like to me it's like liver back of the lungs possibly, hopefully that's what it is, definitely in the liver, so I mean that's what makes me feel that he's definitely dead, but I was just so focused on that shot that, like I said, I forgot to move my camera, and I, I do apologize that for that, I try to get everything that I hunt and shoot on film. Hopefully we can find him here this morning, pick my brother up now, and then Toad's going to come and help, and we'll see you here in a little bit. Well, we're on first blood here. Well, we got him. <laughs> Excitement all around. Yes, sir. Oh boy. Look at that. See this little kicker point he has there. Mm -hmm. Did you know that's, he had that? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know he had that's that. That's a dandy buck. Congratulations. Yeah, a little. I'm sure that's up in him though. No, He's just quartering away a little bit. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks, Steph. Now the fun part begins. Fuck yeah, is out of nice block. That's that buck I seen the first day. You think so? I guarantee it is. Show you my setup and everything that I was using as far as yesterday went. Bow I'm shooting, bobbly smoke, uh, 47 pounds at 28 inches. Shoot a gold tip arrow with a nocturnal knock and helix broadhead, single bevel, and uh, it does a number on them. I've shot four deer with them so far. Been really happy with blood trails. Buck here. Now that's exit there. I got his front shoulders cut off, but it didn't actually poke through the hide. But I only got about three quarters draw on him because of my camera arm. And he was quartered away. And right there, back of the ribs, got his long liver, a little bit of gut. 
And like I said, it it uh you see how blood shocked he is. It did a number. He ran probably I don't know 250 or 300 yards. Never bedded down. I don't know if he was dead in his feet and that's how far he made it or what happened. But yeah, that's my that was my setup for yesterday. That's what I've been shooting for a while. I shot a a dark heart there a couple years ago killed a couple deer with it but I shoot this bow a lot better so you don't need much you can see where it came out at the knuckle right there on the opposite side that's a 125 but I have 200 grains I have a 100 grain brass insert and 250 grain adapters on the back of it so I'm shooting 325 grains up front so bump up that FOC a little bit one of my better bucks with the bow, if not the best. It is the prettiest for sure. Nice long points. He's about 16 and a half inside, 18 and a half outside. Nine inch points, nine points. So I bug to a European mount on him for me, and now to film Toth. Hopefully he gets a big one knocked down.